Hello everybody, my name is Erika and uh, in today's stream we are going to see how to create um, emotes and stickers, animated stickers for Telegram using the uh, new uh, WebM export that was freshly released today in the Spine beta. So if you have uh, Spine open, you can follow along uh, with the links that I just posted or if you're watching a recording, the links in the description of the video. And uh, let's start. Here we have uh, the file. I actually didn't include uh, the Photoshop file, but I'm gonna give you a brief tour anyway, so you know how to structure this in case you want to create something similar. Um, the project is actually very simple. Uh, let's disassemble this so you can see. Um, so we have several symbols here so that the character can emote. This is a simplified version of uh, Spine Boy, uh, our mascot character. And we have, well, we have a head. Oh, that's the base of the head, yeah. Uh, then we have just one arm. Now here it's posed, but actually you see that in the file it's straight. Uh, then uh, just one leg, the body, and um, we rely mostly on the fact that uh, the character has several eyes, several um, mouths and the emotes, and we're going to create these uh, stickers. Of course, I already exported this, so now let's switch to Spine. And uh, this is the project that we actually have. So I already, uh, you can only open this project in the beta version, so 4.1 of Spine currently or above. Let's have a look at what we have. First of all, of course, you'll notice that the guides that we had in Photoshop are exactly the same that we have in Spine and the character is centered. Also, I plan to make Spine Boy, but I also want to make various skins at some point, so I already prepared uh, the skins in the file. Uh, we'll be uh, creating a very simple skeleton, we'll make some emotes, so this is what we'll be doing today. Uh, we'll make uh, yeah, the basic skeleton, which is gonna be quick, some basic emote, and we'll uh, uh, export in WebM uh, so that we can later create our first Telegram sticker. And I'll also show you how to create your uh, set inside Telegram. And let's start. So uh, we have uh, our character here. Uh, notice how the character only has uh, one side. That's because I'm a little lazy and there's no reason to repeat something that you have to do twice when you can just mirror it. In fact, we are going to first rig it and then duplicate the parent bone and flip it so that we can automatically get the rig for also the other side. We'll start by creating the bones. I'll choose the Create tool and I'll select the first bone, which of course has to be the root, and create the first bones for the character. I'll start from the hips, which is uh, usually a good place to start to create a character skeleton when it has two legs. Uh, and I'll create this by pressing Ctrl so that I can see the outline of the images. Uh, if you don't see it, make sure that you have the images selection enabled here. Then I'll select the body and I'll zoom in and create the first bone. If it's not centered, like in my case, I can make it perfect by enabling compensation and then I'll set this to zero so that it's actually mirrored. This is important because when we want to flip part of the skeleton, this will help us uh, um, mirror those parts. So I'll just create one straight like this. Again, if it's not perfect, it's not a problem. I'm going to switch to parent mode, zero, zero, so it's in the correct position. And then I'll set the rotation so that it's 90 degrees. Now it's perfect. I resize this bone by hovering on the tip. And I'll select the head. Why am I selecting these by pressing Ctrl? I repeat it in every stream, but I think it doesn't hurt. So by uh, pressing Ctrl and then creating the bone like this, uh, what happens is that the bone automatically gets renamed with the name of the first image that I select because I can also select more than one image, which is very convenient and can save you a lot of time when you are creating skeletons in general. For sure, I'll need a bone for the leg here. All right, I'll try to place it also so that it's rather straight. 
and then I'll create another bone. I can create it anywhere, but again, I am in parent axis. So then I'll set the rotation to 270, so it points down, and the translation to zero and zero so that it matches that first bone that I created. Hello, this is Editor Erika. The recording in this part froze, so we'll skip it. The rigging is basically the same as in the helmet video, so please watch that if you'd like to follow along. Or the Twitch VOD, which has good audio but frozen images. I'll create a mesh for the glasses. New mesh. And I'll add the mesh. Now in this case I think I can generate a very simple mesh like this. Or like this. Yeah, with 10 vertices. Too many almost. <laughs> then I'll parent this to the head base and to the face holder. I may even create a mesh for the ears here and bind them to the face solder and the base of the head. So in the mesh aspect, we actually have some very nice new addition. I don't know if you know about those. Uh, for example, now we have weight locking and weight swapping. Let's say that these, I want them to swap them with this. I can just press the swap button like this now, which is very nice. All right, then here I'll also increase this. Yeah, we can go fancy, let's do it. So basically uh, this constraint, if you watched other streams, uh, it always works the same way. Uh, we create a bone under head base so that it goes in the opposite direction i'll call it head inverse then i'll set it to zero and i'll change the icon to something that tells us that it's actually a bone that we don't want to touch and i'll create a new transform constraint and pick the face holder in this case which is going to be actually our face control I'll match the position so it doesn't move and then set the translation to minus 100 and minus 100 because now we have x and y separated so it follows but in reverse now i'll add this bone maybe also to the visor here and i'll bind them all to also follow head inverse all right we're all set if i select this I'll be able to add a little bit of influence to head inverse so we create this kind of effect of depth this one too with a little bit of face inverse how much? 23 so we apply 23 also on the opposite side 23 and now we're set to actually create the animations I think I can create like for first because it's a very easy animation maybe, maybe a shrugging animation it's one of my favorites <laughs> So I create the shrug emote and I'll be rotating this. Okay, that's a good starting point for me. Now, instead of being on frame 34, maybe I'll start from frame zero. Uh, all right, so this kind of emotes are actually not that difficult to make. You basically start from one pose, like for example, this. And then we just make a mode. When we do the shrug, we do this. So the head gets slower and the shoulders uh, get higher. Shoulder higher and the head a tad lower. Notice how I was on frame 10. I'm gonna create the missing keys L, uh, on frame zero. Then I'm gonna copy and paste this on frame 20. Maybe increase here the curves. Also notice how in version 4.1, the old uh, curves graph has made a comeback. So if you were familiar to, with this kind of approach, now uh, we have it back. I'll copy these to make it a tad longer, so it has a small pose. I like it like this, it's very snappy. Do we have any interesting mouth in here? So, you know, something that... oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's the one. That's the one that I want. The face holder goes a little bit up. And then it's back here. And like this, we have the first shrug animation. Was that hard? Sweat. Oh, it's just called sweat. Okay, so I'm gonna call it the same way. Sweat. 
Okay, so for the sweat animation, it's mostly, once again, a matter of positioning. Okay, I think I'm gonna create a bone for this so that I can move it a bit freely. Yes. Okay, create this here like this. And I'll only activate you in the correct animation. All right, so for this animation, I think I'm just gonna, um, I don't know, something simple. It starts from here, it appears, and then it disappears once it reaches the end here. Okay, so it kind of does this. And then uh, the arm is gonna do this, more or less. We're gonna animate the opacity, which is something very simple to do. We select the slot. Then, um, well, I'll, I'm gonna key the alpha uh, as it's, it's the color, actually, as it is already activated here and here so that it stays visible enough. Then on frame zero, I'm gonna lower the opacity like this. All right, I'll copy and paste this frame. And now it does this. Now uh, this kind of, uh, it's not very dynamic, so I'm gonna change the kind of curves. So it does this. All right, it's much cuter. All right, let's do a couple more and then we're gonna attempt uh, the export. So, wave. And it's gonna be fine. Okay. Oh, like this. Yeah, I love this kind of animation when it's a bit snappier like this. Then I also want to offset a little bit the down part. So it's a bit cuter. Yeah, like this. Hi, I'm working on Spine right now. Have loved your videos. Thank you. Quick question. How are you just showing the curves in the editor to the right? I can't seem to find that option, just graph. Okay, I am in the beta version, the beta version of Spine, and you can find uh, the curves here, views, and curves is Alt plus V to open it. And um, it's only the beta editor that has it back or 3.8, that's how. And I prefer this compact style for this kind of animations better because I don't have to do anything particularly complicated. But at any time I could use both. So here I have the other version. Okay, like this is actually better. So I'm just gonna move it maybe a tad sideways. Yeah, like this, it's perfect. So instead of this, I'm going to move it sideways, maybe first in one direction, then key at the end. See how it's quick? It's just like five frames. And then in the opposite direction, small movement, voila. And now it's very scary. Animation, love. <laughs> Let's call it love. Then uh, next emoji, what are we gonna do? Animations, new animation, hooray! Oh, that's weird. So wave, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste it on hooray. And then I'm gonna change the pose. Editor Erika here. Since there's many animations and the process is similar, please have a look at the Twitch VOD to see how each was made in real time. And now let's skip to the export. Let's export this. Export, there we go. So uh, let's have a look at what Telegram requires us to export the video stickers, because uh, that's the ones that we are gonna create. So. A video must not exceed the three seconds, and that's okay. It means that we can never go past 90 frames, more or less, which is very long if you think about it. Then it must be exactly on one side, 512 pixels uh, or less. So to ensure this, when we export, we just have to make sure that we fit the size 212 and 112. Now here I have some cropping. I don't need the cropping, so I'm gonna disable it. The video size should not exceed 256 kilobytes and must be in WebM format with no audio, of course. 
Okay, so uh, this should be fine. Also, the FPS can be up to 30 frames per second. I'm gonna rename this and then I'm gonna export them all at once. Why, why bother? <laughs> so uh, let's see animations all, not in a single file, but a file for each animation. Okay, so then it's gonna export them like I need them. Okay, let's export. And now it's exporting. All right, the first step is to speak with the sticker bot, uh, which is this one. And uh, the name is stickers. So at stickers is the, the way to find it on Telegram. Uh, the next step is gonna be to create a new video sticker. So I'll choose this. Yay, new set of video stickers. That's great. So we have to give it a name. So I'm gonna call it Spine Boy. All right. And that's what also he said. Now send me the video sticker. Okay, since here he already exported all the stickers, as you can see, we can start with the first one. Maybe let's make the first one a happy one. Perhaps I'll use the wave one. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. So I just send it like this. And voila, thanks. Now send me the emoji. Okay, I'm gonna use the wave one. So I'll just type wave. <laughs> okay. And that's the one. Congratulations. And now let's add more. I'll, I'll go in reverse. So the tongue sticking out. I'll send. And then I'll, I'll pick the one. Okay, that's actually it. That's precisely it. So I'll send the emoji. Voila, done. And when you're done, send publish. Voila. Now we have the sticker set. Oh, I can also set an icon, but I'm just going to skip this. And then I have to provide a short name. So I'm just going to call it Fine Boy, exactly as earlier. Voila, that's the link. If you want and you have Telegram, you can install them. And that's it. So if, for example, I do this, now I can add this as stickers. I have so many stickers. <laughs> and voila, I'm very happy. There they are. So here we have all of the various things that we animated. And uh, also when we use the emojis, like for example, if I try to use, uh, let's see, this one, the angry one, you see that now it pops out along with several other emojis. Sometimes they are from the sets that you already have. Sometimes uh, uh, they're also suggested and it's very fun. And then uh, we can also export them, for example, for Discord or for other. Yes, we could export them for Discord. Let's actually do that now. Export. Now, instead of WebM, we use APNG. Now, let me have a look at Discord uh, for a moment, just to be sure. But I don't think that I can add the, the stickers here. I go in the server settings uh, on Discord. I go on the sticker. Oh, I actually have stickers. Because someone, Otmimu, wow! Otmimu actually uh, gave us stickers on the Discord. Okay, okay. Then, then we can also add them to, to our Discord here, which is amazing. Thank you, Oatmeal Moon. Uh, wow. Uh, then, uh, okay, in this case, the maximum file size is uh, 512 kilobytes. And uh, the proportions have, uh, in this case, it's not just like one side has to be that, but they have to be exactly that size. So uh, to set it that way, it has to be 320 exactly. So we're gonna set that uh, to have them all be exported in the correct size. In this case, we say all in a file for animation. And then, yeah, but it needs to be inside the Discord one. Discord, no cropping. Uh, and we, we set the size instead of scale fit. And then 312 and 312. Then to make sure that they fit there, we're gonna do pad so that it, it adds some empty space on the sides so that it's exactly that size. Uh, perfect. Now, FBS 30, I am sure that 
it's gonna be too much actually i'm not sure but that's usually the case so in this case i'm gonna lower it maybe to 20 and see what happens okay stickers spine boy discord okay let's export let's see what happens and they are too big so uh when this happens i go on tiny png tiny png which strips away all this big stuff here we have um, the files and we see that many of them um, like some are fine but most of them are not we're gonna just throw them like this and then download them and it's gonna shrink them and look how small they are like they become 77 percent smaller so it's awesome and then we just download them all and import them Okay, great. Uh, now I'm just gonna upload the stickers. I'm gonna repeat this so you're gonna see it many times. Let's see what. Uh, yeah, the wave one has to be the first. So now I can just uh, uh, choose the emoji, which is gonna be wave. There. Oh, twice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just excited about all this stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna add more. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we had the wave one. I'm gonna do them in reverse again. So that's the tongue sticking out. The tongue sticking out. It's spine boy tongue sticking out. Yeah, let's just name it like this. Okay, so there. Then the next one. Oh. There we have it. Ah, thank you. Thank you for giving this server, the, the unofficial Discord server. Of spine the, the possibility to add this is so amazing all right and then we we can just use them inside discord i can't wait to see the emojis that you create at this point or if you want to modify this file and make more emojis on your own um i hope this uh, stream was interesting thank you for watching the video until the end and i guess i'll see you the next time